Hello there guys, it's JJ Equestrian here, and in today's video, I am going to be showing you some of my old videos from 2018, and I'll be like critiquing myself and telling you some things about Daisy on the way through, so yeah, let's get right into the video. You should see me in a crowd, I'm gonna learn there's nothing to help. watch me make them bow, one by one by Alright, so start off, we're going to start off with this video, and you can see she's really hollow, and she's really uptight. She's kind of nervous in my opinion. She just doesn't look the greatest in this video. Um, what I critique about it is keep working with her on the lunge line until she, like, kind of relaxes and puts her head down, which I think this was the first or second time I ever lunged her, so I wasn't expecting her to be perfect, so... Yeah, it needs a little fixing, <laughs> which I didn't know jack crap, like, at the time I got her, because I just started riding, and, yeah, so, this video kind of makes me cringe a little bit. <laughs> and she looks really great in these, like, her body and her movement, just, I still think she was still full of anxiety, because that's when I actually started to work with her a lot more. I used to ride at my old barn at this time, and I never really got to see her, so she wasn't as well trained as I wanted her to be, and plus she was still really green, and I was still really green, so we kind of worked out our differences together. The only thing I would critique is probably her being hollow. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be completely honest. I look awful. I honestly feel like Daisy looks really bad too, exactly, because I didn't know what I was doing. It's not her fault, it's my fault. I, good thing I was taking lessons at this time because, yeah, I had no clue what I was doing. I'm just being honest here. I worked with her. We're both still learning. We have a lot of stuff to learn together. Alright, so next up we have this video, and ew, what am I doing? I look awful. My equine is awful. I should not have kicked her like I did, but I think it was for encouragement, because when I first started jumping, she would always try to run out, which is why I have this board set up, and she, this is when I realized that she really liked jumping, and I know she takes long spots, and I am trying to fix that now, and... We're getting better and better each day, so yeah. Oof. And what am I doing again? <laughs> My position doesn't look too terrible, but this is like a point. This was a very low point for me and Daisy for some reason. She just like wanted to not jump any higher. She would like refuse me and run out of jumps and I just didn't know what was going on. But I, this is when I started using a whip for encouragement because... She's, she started getting really, really strong, and yeah, I just, I was a better rider at this time, still needing a lot of work, though. <laughs> okay, so in this video, I have nothing really bad to say. I feel like my equitation is good, and, and Daisy looks good, too. I feel like the only thing I would critique is probably me keeping my knees in. I should have moved my knees out just like a little bit. Okay, so in this video, she's a lot more relaxed while lunging. And I really have nothing bad to critique about this video. I'm actually pretty proud of the progress we've made on the lunge line. Okay, so this is when we actually started really getting serious about jumping. Uh, she looks pretty good in these videos. I feel like the only thing I would critique is my two point. Which my two point looks really good when I do it with no hands, but like with bareback for some reason, I put my hands so far forward and like I scoop my butt back, and I feel like that's the only thing I should work on. Okay, these videos was when I first got my English saddle, my first English saddle, and this was my first time riding English in like a few months. So I feel like my position is actually pretty good from riding bareback all that time. I feel like the only thing I should work on is my landing position because I kind of get flung out of the saddle, which I think Daisy like over jumped it just a little bit and I wasn't expecting it. 
so yeah so this video is from a few days ago and she looks so good she's a lot more relaxed and putting her head down and i'm actually really really proud of her progress Last but not least is this video, and it actually kind of makes me want to cry because of how well she's doing. Her canter transitions have gotten so much better. She doesn't bolt anymore, and she's a lot more relaxed in her trot. Still very hollow, but it'll come with time, and I think I just need to keep working on her. Getting her more forward and more on the bit. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed me doing this little boring voiceover. I doubt I'll get any views, but I don't care. I think it was good for me just to, like, go through the year and just see all the progress I've made with my horse. I think it's just amazing what I've done with her, and I can't wait to see what 2018 holds for me. So seductive, I take you to the candy shop.